All right, guys. Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys a bunch of commercials, just commercials. So you can see that the outward manifestation of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, which is what we are. We have become the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. You can see this, the obviousness of the outward manifestation. You can see it in commercials. You can see it in clothing. You can see it in advertisement. You can see it in logos. You can see it in clothing brands. You can see it everywhere once you're awake. So let's just have some fun. You want to just, let's just bust them. Now, very clear. When I say bust them, we're not busting flesh and blood. Woe unto them who go to great depths to hide their plans from the Lord and their works from the darkness. And they say, who seeth us? Who knoweth us? Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. The potter's clay is made manifest in Genesis 2 when it says, and the Lord God formed Adam from the dust. The word form means as a potter and the dust is clay. Not Genesis 1, Genesis 2, something very different. And I'm going to share with you guys one of the most profound revelations you've ever seen in the next uh, video that's going to be all scripture, but I want you to watch this so you'll just you'll be able to cross-reference stuff from actual, you know, manifestations of what we see with our eyes every day every day you'll be able to like cross reference it with bible scripture and you'll be just like oh, that's impossible <laughs> exactly all right let's do it let's have some fun ready okay we're gonna watch this video called it this is the 2014 ian bud light commercial i i broke this thing down a long time ago i'm gonna play every commercial in its entirety and then i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna point out specific parts of the commercial and just to show you why is all this stuff in the Bible in there you know why are they using biblical knowledge to sell a product I mean isn't that kind of weird why would there be biblical knowledge in a Bud Light commercial why would there be biblical knowledge in perfume commercials I mean because it's a manifestation of where you are okay so here we go let's do it all right here we go Ian Bud Light Super Bowl 2014. Let me expand this. Let me drop my image out of here. And here we go. All right, he's alone. I'll send her in. Hey. Hello. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm Kelly. Ian. Ian? Ian. Pleasure to meet you. you. If I give this to you, are you up for whatever happens to Three seconds ago, we gave Ian Rappaport a Bud Light and a choice. Ian is not an actor. He has no idea what's going to happen next. I think I could do that. All right, he's in the limo, Reggie. Let's go. How are you? What's your name? Ian Rappaport. Ian, Ian Rappaport. Ian. Oh. Don't mess it up. Hey. Hi. Hey. Nice to Minka. meet you. Nice Minka. to meet you. Uh, definitely know who you are. We need a coach for okay. Ian. It's pretty awesome this being great. styled by <laughs> Minka Kelly tonight. I wish I could come us. with you. I know. I wish you can too. Bye, guys. Minka, that was awesome. <laughs> Push-ups. One, two, three, I knew it! Ring it up! 
Good, they're beautiful girls, huh? Don't be shy when it comes to counting for me. <laughs> you can do better than that. Come on. Ready, my little man here? It's not a bad shot for my little princess. <laughs> when you somehow find yourself in a limo with Reggie Watts and some bachelorettes. Then get styled by Minka Kelly before Don Cheadle, a llama named Lily, and the identical twin of the girl you just met take you to a party where you defeat Arnold Schwarzenegger in a sudden death ping pong match that puts you on stage with One Republic. All right. So now... Okay. I mean, if you don't have eyes to see... The, I mean, could you make any sense of this commercial at all? This is this commercial is the Garden of Eden, the fall of Adam, and it's the whole story. It's just in a beer commercial. Let me show you. Okay, so let's uh, let me see. Let me get the screens the right size. Let's start there. Okay, so then I'll take this back to the beginning, and we'll start at the beginning. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna pause it there. Look right here, 59th floor. This is very, this is very obviously in front of your face. The Strong's number for 59 is Abel. Abel was wasn't Abel murdered. Abel was murdered. The twin system, Cain and Abel. And I've shown you, Abel was a child of the devil. Cain was a child of Adam. And so it's a, the entire system is cannibalistic. It's murderous. The entire system that we're in. So it just so happens that the number 59 on the 59th floor means Abel. That's kind of weird. Okay, now let's watch. I'm going to turn the volume down. Let's see. I just don't want, uh, you know what? should work. Let's just, let's see what happens. Hey. Hello. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm Kelly. Ian. Ian? Gonna pause it right there. Hi. I'm Kelly. I'm Kelly. And they shake. They touch right in front of the light. Now let me just show you what Kelly means. Hi. Every time they use a name or something like that, there is a significance to this. So let's let me show you the name Kelly. Okay, here we go. Kelly, the the meaning of Kelly is warrior. By the way, it gets even more. It it also means Kelly means war, um, and it means female warrior. That's what Kelly means. Hi, I'm Kelly, and then she says, Hey, if I give you this. Are you up for whatever happens? And he's like, yeah, I think so. He says his name is Ian, right? Do y'all know what Ian means? I'll type it in right in front of you. I know what it means, so I'll just type it in. The meaning of the... The meaning of the name Ian is God is forgiving, gift of God. Okay, so her name is female warrior. His name is Ian, gift of God. What's really fascinating is when I show you the Garden of Eden all over again. <laughs> Y'all are going to freak out. Yep, here we go. So anyway, so there you go. Ian means gift of God. Kelly means fear, female warrior. And then she says, if I give you this, I want to I wanna click on it, this image first. She says, I get, if I give you this, are you up for whatever happens? Look what she's doing. She's winking her eye at him. You have to pay attention to catch it, but this is just, you know, what I do. 
So anyway, it was very obvious that she goes, hey, if I give you this, are you up for whatever happens? And that one eye is the other side. That's the enemy. Neither let them that are my enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. Neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without a cause. Okay, so there it is. So she winks at him. She offers him the Bud Light. He says, yeah, I think so. And then here we go. So now I don't want to go through just all the dialogue because the more dialogue I go through in this, the greater chance this program has of messing up. So I'm just going to turn the volume down and we'll just watch it. So she says, hey, uh, if I give you this, there she winked right there. Are you up for whatever happens? He's like, yeah, I think so. And it says Ian was given a choice, you know, and then she's an actor, but he's not an actor because the whole the whole fall, Lucifer put on some garments to trick, to trick us. And I'll show you that in Scooby-Doo. <laughs> this is, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Here we go. Okay, so then what does he do? He jumps in a, a car with a bunch of bachelorettes. And he's like, hey, a bachelorette. Well, what's a bachelorette party? It's a bunch of girls that go out and the bride-to-be. Sometimes she fornicates with some other guy before the day before she gets married. That's crazy. That's twisted. It's sick. So he jumps into a, a party. He's a part of a bachelorette party. And so they ask him his name. He goes. And then they're taking him to uh, a studio to get get some new clothes on. Now watch this. I'll put some volume for this. Hey. Hey. Ian. Very nice to Minka. meet you. Nice Minka. to meet you. I definitely know who you are. <laughs> I'm going to show you right here, Minka Kelly. See, Minka Kelly right here. Do y'all do y'all know what do y'all know what Minka means? I showed you what Kelly means. Isn't it odd? There's the name. They use someone with the name Kelly again. Do you know what Kelly, Minka means? Let me show you what Minka means real quick. Okay. Here you go. Okay, I showed you Kelly means warrior. It means female warrior, actually. Let me show you what Minka means. Strong-willed warrior. See, Minka, strong-willed warrior, Kelly. Okay, and so what do they do? So let's see. So the next thing they do is a, they change his clothing. Okay, let me go to Esword. So this is a representation of the fall in the garden. Watch, because the female warrior, there you go, is what was used. By the way, uh, so everybody understands something. It wasn't Adam. It wasn't Adam that fell first. It was Eve. And Eve was used to get to Adam. Okay? So now watch. So here we go. We're going to go to Genesis 3. Genesis 3. And he's already, he's already taken the, um, he's already taken the bait. And here we go. And unto Adam and also his wife did the Lord God make coats. Look at this. Coats. It means, the word is coats. It means to cover uh, a coat or a garment right there. I'm going to highlight that a different a coat or a garment or robe. Now, I'm going to go ahead and share something that most of y'all don't know. I'm just going to get it out there. We're going to go over this again, but I've known this for a while. I'm just going to let y'all have it because now the Lord's resolved the whole Bible for me. When I say the whole Bible, he's given me the key to understanding it. And it had to start with the foundation, which is Christ, had to turn everything upside down first. Okay, so, and God made, look, coats. Now, in the commercial we're watching, they go in and he needs a coat. They go, he needs a coat. That's what she says. So they give him a new coat. Now let me show you something. So I'm in Genesis 3. And unto Adam and his wife, the Lord God, see the Lord God made coats. It says garments, a coat, garment robe of skins 
and it says skin as naked by implication hide or leather and look and clothe them he clothed them with nakedness watch and he clothed them he made them coats of skins it means skin as naked hide leather and then look the root of the word is to be bare to be made naked so a lot of people have never really understood this but the lord god made for adam and his wife coats of skin and he clothed them with nakedness you know what the targum says and i've been showing people the targum it predates the bible the targum says and eve who had desired and hava who had desired the angel and she said i've gotten a man uh the angel of the lord and then the lord god added to bear unto uh added to bear his twin even Hable from Adam. And then it says, And the Lord God made to Adam and his wife vestures of honor from the skin of the serpent. And he clothed them and cast away the adornment they once had. And he clothed them. He clothed them with nakedness. <laughs> Do you think the fall happened in some garden here on earth? Is that what everybody thinks? Or did the actual fall occur somewhere else and then it plays out down here? I'll show you. Yeah, it's so obvious once you see it. So anyway, so look, and Adam and his wife, the Lord God made coats. It means a coat, a garment or, or robe for cover, to cover, to clothe of skins and so the skins he, as naked so see as naked by implication hide or leather what do you think your skin is and then the root it means to be bare to be made naked and he clothed them what did he clothe them with he clothed them with nakedness is what he clothed them with <laughs> somebody people think he killed some animal and clothed them no. <laughs> no, 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 no. He clothed them with nakedness. So here we go back to the commercial. So he goes in and she goes, he needs a coat. Watch. We need a coat. Okay, so now he's getting new garments. And watch what happens once he gets his new garments. Oh no, he gets his own twin. <laughs> No. Yes. Let's watch. Okay. It's pretty awesome being great. styled by <laughs> Mika Kelly tonight. I wish I could come us. with you. I know. I wish you could too. Bye, guys. Get in and stop for a sec. And what's once they put on the coat, look what look what they stood him in front of a mirror. He's in front of a mirror. There you go. Okay, let's go back. So they're going to get to the party. We don't need to listen to all the singing. They're just partying. So here he comes. Open up the doors. Joe. Good evening. Hello, Lily. Hey! There. <laughs> Come on, Crazy. Lily. Lily. Hey, Don. How are you? Okay. Okay, so now Don Cheadle, who's black, and he gets in there. He's dressed identically to Ian, gift from God, Don Cheadle. Do y'all know what the word Don means? Okay, let's just look it up. Let's do it right in front of you. Here we go. Here we go. Dawn means Dawn means to put on, get dressed and dress oneself. He donned an overcoat. Oh, you mean like Genesis 3. And the Lord God made coats of skin. So when you put on a coat, you put on, you don. A new outfit. <laughs> you know, 
I wonder how all this is adding up so perfectly. <laughs> so we're in the Garden of Eden now, watching a Bud Light commercial. So see, Dawn means to put on like, put on a overcoat. See, he donned an overcoat. So Don Cheadle gets in with him. Don Cheadle's dressed identical. Now he's got his own, there's a light and a dark twin. Just like you, there's a good you and there's a bad you, there's a light you, there's a dark you, right side up you, upside down you in the same system, and inside of you is the war. The war is inside, it's internal. Okay, now watch. Now he goes to a party, watch. Well, wait wait a minute. He gets in with a llama. Now listen to this. Hey, how's it going? Nice to see you. Are we wearing the same coat? Nice job. Stand by, AK. Okay. Okay, the llama's name was Lily. Okay, well, let me show you something about llamas you probably didn't know. Okay, llamas were used as part of the Incan creation myth. White llamas were often used for animal sacrifices, and young children were particularly prized as human sacrifices. Now, this is, you know, part of the creation myth of the Incans, and llamas were part of that creation myth, myth in, in the Incan culture, and they were used as sacrifices. So I just, just showed that to you, just had it highlighted. So here we go. Let's see. White llamas were used as animal sacrifices, and young children were particularly prized as human sacrifices. This is part of the Incan creation myth. Well, why do, why do, we, need, why do we need to know the name of a white llama and its name Lily. So let's look up the meaning of Lily. Okay, let me scrunch this down. The meaning of, it means purity. Uh, yeah, I already know. It's a symbol of innocence and purity. And so what they're, what they're telling you is like, hey, here comes the sacrifice. We got a pure sacrifice. And when you really understand Genesis and you really understand Adam and Eve, you'll understand that Adam was a pure sacrifice. And when you really understand the depth of God's knowledge, which is, I'm sorry, but I didn't choose any of this. He just gave it to me. <laughs> it's just like, so there's no arguing with this commercial, right? I mean, it is what it is. Okay, so here we go. So now... He's getting off on the 59th floor and Abel was murdered by his twin. So here he is. He's on the 59th floor. 59 means Abel. So Cain, like Cain and Abel. And now let's see what happens. Open the door. Door, 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 door. Twins. Yes. This is a bizarre night. Take care, that is not by accident that everything's like red sacrifice. This is Genesis. Yeah, guy, this is the fall. <laughs> it's a Bud Light commercial. This is the fall. I can do the. I, I'm going to show you like many more of these. I just want to see if my my program's working well. If it is, I'll do a couple more today. See, so here comes the sacrifice. So here comes the sacrifice, and he's going into the party. He's already got his new coat, and then he's got his new twin. Let's see what happens. Everyone here is a twin. Everyone here is a twin. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the world. You're in a twin system, binary. And each, there's male and female energy within every host body. And there's a good you and there's a bad you. There's an internal battle. And Jesus came to take the two and make one new man from the two, thus making peace. The only way you can do that is that. I've been showing you. I'll never stop showing you that. Here we go. My mind is blown. <laughs> They're on their way down. They appear to be crushed. 
Okay, look, he says prepare to be crushed, but right here in the elevator, you know, you have an M and you turn it upside down. It's a double U. There's the twins and, you know, it represents the twin system, but you got to turn it upside down. Uh, look at men's and women's restaurant. There's an M and then there's a W. Okay, also on the wall here, there's A and negative A. Watch. They're on their way down. Sorry, I missed it. Let me see. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. I don't want to waste a lot of time looking for it. Uh, let's see. It's somewhere in here. I don't want to waste a lot of time. It's A and negative A. Let's just go to Arnold Schwarzenegger. There it is. A and negative A. Okay. That's what, there's the twin. There's a negative and a positive charge in the same system. So now he walks in and Arnold Schwarzenegger says, prepare to be crushed in tiny tennis. <laughs> okay, so let's watch. <laughs> They're on their way down. Prepare to be crushed in tiny tennis. <laughs> okay, let's see the arms. You all look up on that. Very good. Now, the reason he's doing this, this is telegraphing two things. And though this is just the Lord revealing it to me. It's not because I'm smart people at all. It's just a gift. So when he's going like this, the system that Arnold's part of is the Egyptian theology and creation. Look, because their goddess of creation is Nut, okay? And they need a sacrifice. And so let me show you that. Let me go to the folder real quick. So he makes him do it. Then he makes him get out down on the ground. Now listen, this is also because they're going to telegraph the bombing of the Hoover Dam and the birthing of their new race. That's what this is about. It's from the Garden of Eden to the birthing of the new race. That's what this whole commercial is about. And so he's going to have him put his arms up. Arnold puts his arms up first, symbolizing who he serves. He serves that Egyptian theology. And then, you know, because remember, the Egyptians held God's people as slaves, remember, because they were the gods. <laughs> so watch. So now let me let me just show you how this plays out real quick. Watch this. I'll drop this down. Let me go to the Ian Bud Light folder. Let's see. Okay, she Kelly, the female warrior, is an actor. She winked at him. Here we go. Okay, and then here we go. He gets styled by uh, the other warrior. And then Lily the Llama comes in. There's Barack Obama standing in front of the bridge that was built not too long ago. This bridge was built in front of the Hoover Dam. And here is the reason Arnold Schwarzenegger held his hands up like this. Uh, this is the goddess of creation. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shove this into this. I want to see Arnold do it first. Hang on. Let's see the arms. You all look. Let's see the arms. Okay, there you go. So now watch. Now I'm going to shove this image into there. See, that's what Arnold's doing. He's glorifying that system of which he's part of. So let's see the arms and he's making fun of him because now he's going to make Ian lay down on the ground because they need their sacrifice that makes the whole system run and they know that Ian is it. Okay. So here we go. So watch. You all look up on that. Very good. Just give me five push-ups. Okay. Now the reason he says, give me five push-ups is because everything's a five and five system. V and V, Roman numeral five, Roman numeral five, you put them together, it's the double U again, remember? Give me five push-ups. Now, if you look at the benches of people that are wearing T-shirts, let me show you what's going on. Let, let's look at the benches real quick. Okay, so when you look at the bench right here of the people, okay, on the bench, look, there's one, two, three, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six, six, six. Half white, uh, half Ian, uh, half Arnold. 
the guys wearing the white, those are got they have Arnold wearing with his arms up. And then these guys have Ian six 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 on the benches. Okay, which represents the flesh because the flesh is half and half. Now the other reason Arnold put his his arms up like like Nut is because or I'm sorry, Nut is not the one with the arms up, the one with that's over everybody is not the other one. I forgot the name. Um, so anyway, so here at the Hoover Dam, it says, look, it says they died to make the desert bloom. And you see the guy that's dead down here. The guy's dead. And then this guy's arms are going up to two different grains, this grain and this grain. And then you see the lightning bolts, the, the lightning bolts going down to, to make the two party system. Okay, now this is also the face of, like, this is the face of a goat. There's the mouth, there's the nose, eye, eye, and the horns going up. So this is a, a symbol of the devil. Uh, this is a, a whole thing is the face of a goat going up. And then two different grains coming together. It's the female reproductive system. And then, look, a dead guy. And it says, they died to make the desert bloom. And then you have the... The two on this side representing male and female, and the two on this side representing male and female, the, the twin system. So here's the male and female. Here's the male and female. So you got twins and twins. And so this commercial is going to show you a representation of the bridge in front of the Hoover Dam, and that's the reason the floor is all blue. To represent the water because they know that the Hoover Dam is going to be birthing the new race. That's why the Hoover Dam itself is built in the shape of the female reproductive system. And it's on the $50 bill. I showed it to you. <laughs> this is just so crazy. It's amazing. This is amazing. So anyway, let me show you. Let me show you the Hoover Dam. And let's look at the ping pong table. I'll tell you what. You know what? Let's watch them play and then I'll show you the pictures. Here we go. So see, there's Ian. He makes him lay, get down on the ground on the blue, just like uh, the plaque at the Hoover Dam. So he had his arms up like, uh, you know, like in the goddess Nut uh, picture of the three, the cycle. And then he's down on the ground, which is represents water. And then the ping pong table represents the bridge in front of the Hoover Dam. And then this wall represents the Hoover Dam going down because it will go down when they birth their new race. Watch. Oops, sorry. No. I knew it. Bring it up. But they're beautiful girls, huh? Yes. Don't be shy when it comes to counting for me. <laughs> you can do better than that. Come on. Ready, my little man here? It's not a bad shot for my little princess. <laughs> Okay, now, here's the deal. The, the whole wall is going to go down, representing the Hoover Dam going down. That's the birthing of the new race, and then the new race. And then all of a sudden, you find yourself on stage with one republic. Get it? The new race, yes. And then <laughs> it's their big, the new race's birth party. Okay, here we go, watch. Hey, you know what? Let me show you the pictures first. Let's do this. Let me show you the pictures first. Here we go. Oops. Here we go. Okay, so here we go. Let me show you the Hoover Dam, and let me show you the ping pong table in front of the wall, just like the Hoover Dam. There you go. So here's the bridge right here in front of the Hoover Dam right here. Here's the ping pong table. Has anyone ever seen a ping pong table like that? Ever. I've never have. Anyway, it's perfect. So there's the bridge. This represents the dam. And so it's going to go down and see the Hoover Dam is the female reproductive system. They have these, uh, you know, parts on the other side. I've shown everybody from a, an aerial view. It is the female reproductive system. So here we go. So now they're going to birth it. Watch. And let me shrink that down. And again, this is from the Garden of Eden to the birthing of their new race. Let's see. Let's see. And... Again, you know, another obvious thing is, is the blue floor being the water. 
Okay, here we go. Ready? Light, the perfect beer for when you somehow find yourself in a limo with Reggie Watts and some bachelorettes. Then get styled by Minka Kelly before Don Cheadle, a llama named Lily, and the identical twin of the girl. When you get styled by Minka Kelly, which means, you know, whatever, strong-willed warrior, you know, hi, I'm Kelly, female warrior. Hey, I'm Ian, gift from God. Hey, if I give you this, or you up for whatever happens? Like, we get your soul. And, and then get styled by Minka Kelly. Uh, was strong-willed warrior before Don Cheadle means to put on. I didn't. I've never looked up Cheadle though. A llama named Lily. Llamas were used in the Incan creation myth as a sacrifice. Lily and the identical twin of a girl you just met take you to a party where you defeat Arnold Schwarzenegger. Girl you just met take you to a party where you defeat Arnold Schwarzenegger in a sudden death. And see a sudden death thing that puts you on stage with One Republic. Do you get it? <laughs> I mean, it's so obvious what you know what's going on. This is the Garden of Eden to the birthing of the new race at the end of the world. Uh, so anyway, there it is. That's one. That's just one commercial. I'm going to see if this worked out. I'm gonna, at, at the programs working, on the next video, I'll do like four commercials all together, just all together. Let's see how this worked.